Ali here and in today's video I'm checking out the reverb algorithms of the MFX from ALM Busy Circuits. Um, but I'm actually starting off with a delay algorithm that I forgot to include in last week's delay video. Um, if that sounds fun then please stick around, also please do subscribe if you have not already. And yeah, let's get into this first algorithm which is called Ursa Minor which is a multi-tap delay and an echo verb and there's quite a lot going on and um, so what i'm going to do is kind of stop the drums and we'll have a listen to what's going on here so you can choose between two different modes either reverb or echo and i'm in echo just now and there's lots of different echo types um, i'm using an attenuator from mass here to change the the delay time. This is program echo 1, echo 2, echo 3 and we can actually get really, really short with these. Which is a sound that I'm really into. If we go into the negative there, we're hearing the multi-tap. <laughs> it's really nice. And then we have one called Fatty. Cloud. Slap. I like the slap ones actually. an effect there. Now let's try some of the reverbs. We just change the mode to reverb and then we all we have all the same different program types. <laughs> you can kind of hear the uh, resonance coming through when you move through those. And finally, we have some different room types, all with a slightly different flavor. I think I prefer the echoes on this. Let's check out some more algorithms.
So in this patch I'm using the PL8 or plate reverb algorithm and I'm using some modulation to create this kind of sort of spooky effect. Um, I'm modulating the pre-delay to get this nice wobbly chorus sound. I like to have it nice and subtle. And then I'm sending a gate to the freeze input to create these weird <laughs> kind of freeze effects. And then I've got a little bit of bit reduction on the effects aid. resonating nicely with rings. This kind of demonstrates the power of using modulation. Taking advantage of the three CV inputs can take a simple uh, plate reverb and turn it into something quite uh, experimental. So in this patch, I'm using the ALMicon or Almicon, <laughs> which is an 80s uh, reverb algorithm. And it sounds really nice. It's quite huge and you can actually change between 80s and modern. I think the modern one is a bit more, it's a bit wider, a bit less muddy. But 
but it's nice. next reverb algorithm is called Quadra. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> and it's a, a 90s sound and reverb. Um, and it's quite simple. There's not too many parameters for this one, but it does sound really nice. Um, and if you turn the damping all the way down to 0%, you will get an infinite reverb, which is quite noisy as 90s reverbs tended to be. So part of the character. Let's try to turn the dampen on a bit. My sound source in this is rings in the Easter egg mode, which I did make a video about a while ago. Getting these nice kind of chord sounds. And plats. <laughs> in the first algorithm which is one of my favourites
this algorithm is called Yeti Reverb and there's a lot of nice pitch stuff going on in here. I have the attenuator of maths patched into the CB2 here which is controlling the, <laughs> the pitch. get some of these weird, really digital sounding noises. Which I am typically a fan of. I find that having pitch stuff is a great way to get weird things happening. enjoyed my exploration of the MFX reverbs then please leave a like and a comment on the video. If you'd like to help support the channel then I do have a Patreon account where I upload extra videos and sample packs and you could sign up for as little as £3 which doesn't seem like much but it really does help a lot. Um, I also have a cassette for sale which you can pick up on my Bandcamp. It's uh, an EP I made in 2019 and these are a limited run. Um, and finally I have some affiliate links down below. Um, if you're treating yourself, you can treat me too. <laughs> um, thank you for watching and I'll catch you all soon.